Hi, my name is Swati Churadia. Uh, as far as my profession is concerned, I am meeting a very contemporary role which has facets from two different sides. One is the art and another is the management of corporate. From the art side, I am a performer of dance and a trainer of dance again, uh, an international dance teacher and a performer. Uh, from the management and from the corporate side, I take care of facilitation, uh, performing a, an art of facil facilitation for organization, for understanding their vision, their intention, the importance, and also uh, training them on certain capability building, like management skills, uh, understanding of the corporate culture, leadership, and things like that. Uh, dance was my passion. I come from a family of uh, artists. They are not professional artists, but yes, they have been pursuing art. So my mom was a painter, so my grandmother was uh, into music and dance. Uh, so that was there in me and I was taking care of, uh, I, I mean, my learning for art, my take on art, listening to music. So that was happening as I was growing as a child. Parallelly, coming from a small town, I had to be an engineer or a doctor because we are not given much choices. So uh, when when I was uh, focusing on being a being an engineer or being a doctor at that time, the dance was taking a secondary uh, role in my life. However, it was there. So it was. Uh, so one, once I recognized dance, then I left it there. Then I was following my duty or maybe my responsibility to be an engineer. I did that. Uh, after that MBA, so it was a pretty set uh, career that I had to take. Uh, after uh, achieving a certain milestone of becoming a corporate profession and working at ICICI Bank, uh, I realized that I need to take a breather sit for a while and reflect uh, and I just realized that there is one part of me which I have left behind which was the art side or maybe which was the dancer in me. I started dancing and I used to feel very complete. So that's where I realized that these two things are important. However, I was still going through a struggle within me that which one should take the lead role. I met Kailash Kher. I was lucky enough that I could just share my vision and dream with him and he appreciated my art form and he kind of uh, gave me uh, this insight that why don't you become an artist. So I gave two years of my life into art I created my own dance form and which was recognized uh, on the international platform. And because if you follow any path so diligently and you want to get deeper into it, you have this urge to share and you have this urge to share it with people so that they can learn from you. So that's where the trainer or a, or a teacher you know, came out. And yeah, so at that point, so this was, you know, a very philosophical journey of my internal self, which kind of made me realize at one point that I have an art side which fulfilled my one side of the brain and the, the, the intellectual side which or the analytical side which fulfilled the other side. I could really come to a commitment and a self-affirmation that yeah, these two can coexist. It's just about how do I figure out my best and provide it to the world out. I like that at every moment uh, which I live today, I don't need to portray something but it's not a responsibility. I really enjoy that this is what I am. And as and when I share with others, or as and when I perform, or as and when I work, I learn so much. So every moment is just a value addition uh, and very real. So I feel that I'm living it for myself and I'm living it for people around me. And, so, and I love the attention also, actually. As a trainer, <laughs> you enjoy having this attention that everybody wants to you know, hear you. And as a performer, everybody wants to see that ah, she's a so I, think I, I enjoy the attention. Um, what I dislike about it is that uh, there are less people who believe in it. Uh, so sometimes, obviously, I come across 
certain people who do not want to believe in it and, and it takes a while for for us to connect. However, being authentic always works. You know, it's either a yes or a no. There are many challenges that I faced. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, uh, that was a big big push and a big motivation for me to you know whether to prove or disprove those those popular beliefs. Uh, the first one was uh, as I said that popular belief of human family, of society, uh, all these uh, formed perception that you know uh, you how can you be a dancer? If you've done an MBA and you're an engineer, how can you pursue dance and, and, and art as belly dance, which is not socially accepted. Uh, so yeah, I mean, they're used to of see, your parents are used to of seeing your daughter in a suit, in a coat, and they do not want to see her in a belly dancing attire, performing here in, in, at various places. Uh, and that's a big barrier, which, which I realized that it was, if I would have believed in this, I would have not grown, uh, grown over it. Uh, somewhere deep down, I, I also had these fears that yeah, what they're saying is right because somewhere even I'm part of the society and I started believing in that. Uh, but when I reflected deep down, I still figured out that fine line that whether uh, is this right for me? Is is that what I want to do? And the answer was no. The answer was that I like this art form. I want to perform. That doesn't mean that I am an object of you know, to be to be seen an obscene way, or or dance is an obscene thing, or or it's something to look down at. So first, I had to convince my own self against this belief. So that was one of the big barrier that I had to to face, and I had to grow over. And once I was convinced with it, uh, then it was easy for me to convince everyone. So that was that was one of the big challenges that I faced, and I started pretty late. I started at the age of 27. So age was a second challenge. Uh, a lot of people they said that you know now you are starting and people are dancing from childhood. How do you grow? And I was like, yeah, okay, but I was also a dancer from childhood. Maybe I was dancing in my bathroom. I was dancing in my bedroom. Nobody knew, but that artist still within me. So I still want to give it a try. So then age was the next challenge or a barrier but um, I had this belief in me, I just figured out that it is not age, it's just the physical stamina and energy uh, that may become a challenge so I took special care of everything and, and it worked, it worked so also the, the society belief and some, some actual tangible challenges like resources were the two things which, which I had to work uh, towards and the way it helped me was that I had to, all I had to do was to figure out my self-belief and, and, and it's as simple as that, that if you think they are right, then they are right, if you think you are right, then you are right and then follow that. So yeah, that's how. So my advice to to all of you, in fact, uh, I'm sure few of you will be able to connect with me, few may not be able to as much connect with me, but to everybody my advice is that uh, we are all born with special talents. If one can have the courage, confidence and, uh, and the sheer uh, perseverance to find what it is, we all can be so uniquely amazing profession uh, because then there is no replica you know, uh, today I am a dancer and an HR professional uh, tomorrow there could be a, another dancer and an, another HR professional but the, the, the unique quality of my dance may not be exactly same as that person dance a deep level of satisfaction uh, being in touch with your own emotions so having your brain and your soul mapping into each other, uh, having no conflict within, though it is easier said than done, but at least striving to have no conflict within is something very easy. And I think it is the, uh, now that I have uh, uh, walked all the difficult path, I just feel it was just so easy. It was always very simple choice that what you like, just, just go for it and then you find it.
path and ways and journey and maybe someday a destination as well.